Hmm, delicious cookie. That out of the way. Let's play with some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. Wonder what was the logic behind that decision? Hmm, I wonder. Alright, well this one was cool. We'll do that one. How many? Oh, I've got like 12 pages? Alright. Wow. There's a lot of music in here, huh? Good for health, bad for... Umemoto. All systems go. Mm, everything will be okay. I wonder if this like determines the clients that you get or something like that. <laughs> Snowfall, cool. Ooh, a star pierces at the dark. That sounds like a cool song. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> hey, you, get me a beer. Oh my god. Oh, sure, right on it. Who wants a beer? Looks like quite the big guy, though. Alright, let's make the big guy beer. Uh, so we double everything, right? One, two, Bronson, one, two, three, four, two powdered Delta, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. We're not supposed to get them too drunk though, right? This doesn't count towards making it big or not, so. All mixed. Oh no, what happened? I did four, and then two, and then four. I guess I do need to have this one. All right, let's try this again. Did I not mix it for long enough? Two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Big boy beer. Here you go. Yeah, this one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, only when it says optional, you're... Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to hell. The worst household. Hell, uh, worst hellholes. Like New Jersey 3. Ah, <laughs> tell me about it. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Hey, I read your paper. Nothing gets published there without my blessings. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all of these, all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. This guy's kind of like J. Jonah Jameson, but red, and like a little bit less worse. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missus. And her kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker. Just that you write about them every single day. Some of it is even news, just speculations or copycats. We can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. Huh. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article about a supposed article, hacker, but not all the daily stories about murders and other hoarders. Oh, it's, it's this guy now, huh? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my... She's not trying to doom scroll on here, buddy. Uh, I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You know what? I, respe I respect that. I'm okay with that. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. True, true. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get... Descent... To desens people get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a, a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about. You can make up any shit you want. Oh man. 
This guy, he is J. Jonah Jameson. Spam them while they're hot. And even people like you, uh, even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories will see him. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't they a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. True, true, this guy gets it. They might also write about how everyone that uh, likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part about that is that they know half of their clicks come from them. So they get all their div they get all diva like on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about No wait, I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> See? The kid on the restaurant critique column, uh uh shit, forgot that brat's name. I guess the drink is working. Restaurant? I believe that's uh that kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway, his column is, a, is a, a, the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. Damn, that sucks. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problem with that if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places in the newspaper sends him to. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Well, he's just like a liar. Yeah, don't don't pay him anymore then. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here saying, asking for free drinks and saying he was a critic or whatever. Do you look like a fat child with a really small face? Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's like such a crushing thing to say. You look like a fat child with a really small face. Holy shit. No. Wasn't this one then. <laughs> anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Alright. So that was... I'm gonna make him a big one again, right? One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Here. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Oh, <laughs> I like this guy. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog piss. I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. I'm doing my best here. Thank you very much. Who's that? Nobody important. God damn. Hey, I heard that. This is great. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really, at least not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip recording regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace. Ooh. Man, this guy is the realest guy already. Pretend to love? Fall from grace? Oop. Opened the log by accident. Why do you think uh, that gossip around famous people always sells? Pe uh, people pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level. They want to see them suffer. To get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. I agree with that. I think this guy is on to something. No, I think gossip is just something everybody enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. I think that's fair too, though. But I think that the reason that they enjoy it, that they don't want to admit, is because they want to see people fail. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I fail to see the appeal in that whole thing. Do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals, or if either dating God knows whose? Granted, socks with sandals is practically a pub public indecency, but still. 
Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like the hairdressers. <laughs> they sound this sounds hypocritical coming from hypocritical coming from you. Even if that's the case, I don't sense I don't sensationalize what people do. Wow, I totally got called out. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is a key word here. Just the other day I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing at the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the people. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing up in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. This is like really deep, especially for like the first mission. All these just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say it's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. That's fair. Hey. The dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help, sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're investiga inst are instigating a behavior that shouldn't be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, Brat? Well, too, could play that game of, uh... Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat. Hellbent on world conquest. Sarcasm. Waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Well, I don't know about this right now. Anyway, I just realized that a bar bartender like you must have quite a few stories in her career. Yeah, it is like... Social commentary is really hard already. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Would you like a column talking about those? I bet that would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories. Then they got excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. I'm ready to sell out though personal stranger of sorts we could have you ghost riding half of our staff do that they do you don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person do you figures uh, anyway eventually the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me not only would that hurt us as a business it would hurt me we like hearing clients rant about their lives oh it would hurt the clients too I guess well if you ever retire that offer is waiting for you I'm ready now bro Fuck clients. <laughs> I want to get my bag. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. Is it? Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather. It's too general, but Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? No, oh, gods, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss with the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one? Do you? Ah, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm. Give me a beer. Alright. Alright. I think I basically remember the beer one. But, I like to bring it up. Just to be sure. That's seven, eight, okay. Beer. One beer. One big boy beer. Here's hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. You might, because that was the third big one in a row. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? You can call it a hellhole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? 
I just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Oh, god damn. Donovan. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in your company. Well, that's, uh... I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no. They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of stuff. Something... Recent... I am I'm reminded of something recent from this. Hmm. What good is that to be the boss of, if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, those kind of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it. Call it a day. <laughs> These losers are asking for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. Hmm. Yes. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently it told me that I need more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? If they want more clicks, I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven, though. We never heard from him again. Chill. Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? <laughs> that kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The, the ceiling, the sinks, the toilets, the vents. Shh, you'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. How, what can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Uh, Alright. He wants a gut punch. I'll give him a gut punch. It's gotta be a big one, though. So we gotta get... Ten Bronson Extracts. Okay. Fully loaded, baby. And then... Want two Flannerides. Alright. All aged and mixed. Uh, so let's do... Let's do three. Cut punch. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Damn. Hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to the motel for a couple hours? Whoa! Dude! Don't be gross! No. <laughs> then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. Hey, the first guy was alright. He wasn't, like, suddenly sexual harassing you, like this guy. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar, then? Somebody recommended me this place, and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. Well, I have no idea why she likes you. She says she's regular here at all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. Oh, you can click the TV? Oh, cool. <laughs> we watch, we predict. Alice Rabbit? I'd buy that for a dollar. $59 for ramen. Okay, Bubble Lady. No signal. Punching Dude. Wow, there's a lot of channels. Okay. Let's watch Cool for a little bit. Is he regular here? Uh, yeah, so. A regular? Can I ask who? No. <laughs> I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music here at least has decent taste. Hey, that's me! I have decent taste. You're welcome. Hey, Jill. Where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No. Nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. 
I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. Oh, the Red Comet. Like Char? The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. There's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastically true. we have had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. <laughs> Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep, mouth shut up, to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other was a pickup artist. <laughs> and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She gets really drunk and uh, she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. That sounds awful. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? That's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Oh. He wants a pile driver. I feel like suplexing him. Getting all the wrestling terms out. Alright. Should I give him a big one? I'm gonna give him a regular one. Three and four. I don't want to give him too drunk, because I did give him the big one with like extra Karma Trine before, so. Uh, all mixed. It's not supposed to be aged or iced. Pile driver. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? What the hell? This guy is the worst. Uh, I'm sorry. I think I heard wrong. <laughs> yeah. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not going to answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you the time. Lies can make you happy. What, what happened to this guy? <laughs> what... What are you going through that you're taking out on me? Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Dude! This guy is awful! He's like, you look like you fucked a bunch of guys before. <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, still, that's quite a random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about how people making polite comments about this crack house. Ah, uh, of course you were. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. So, so he got dumped by his girl who liked this bar? I guess. Alright. Ooh, nine Karma Trine? Alright, well, we can't, we can't double that. You fucking die. <laughs> Alright. Uh, all aged and mixed, okay. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady. Have you... Oh my god, this guy... Have you ever felt empty? Empty? How? Like hungry? <laughs> no, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. This, this guy really went from like, you ever faked an orgasm to, have you ever felt like nothing matters? You're an empty shell of a husk. <laughs> like, <laughs> can't say I particularly have. Just feel like there's part of myself that lacks something. <laughs> An urge to get to get or do something that I can I can't uh, I just can't satisfy <laughs> Have you tried taking up a hobby? 
<laughs> it might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Good advice. That's what I do when I feel empty. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. God, this guy. He comes in. He's like, how much do I got to pay you to suck my dick? <laughs> it's like... I feel so empty. I need women and alcohol. God, this guy's terrible. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. Jesus, this guy. I also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. What? <laughs> Oh my god. Nothing seems to do it. Um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? Can't yeah, fuck puppies. <laughs> At least you shouldn't. Oh my god. This guy. I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Or don't. Please don't, actually. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Alright. Wow. What a, uh... What a first day, huh? I mean, the first day for me, not for her. Yeah, let's save that. Jeez. That guy was awful. I'm gonna eat this cookie before we start the next section.